Hey guys, so welcome back to another XCOM 2 campaign. This time, we're going back to War of the Chosen after Long War 2 completely kicked my ass and I got absolutely wrecked. So, we're tucking our tail between our legs and back to War of the Chosen, but we're going to be using uh, a better campaign. Uh, a better everything, actually, if I want to be technical, which includes a better campaign, a better advent, uh, better barracks, better resistance force, better chosen, all sorts of uh, new goodies to modify this campaign to give it that unique twist because I haven't actually done a, uh, a better campaign before so looking forward to it. I did a couple of test runs. Uh, things were okay. We've got increased enemy pod sizes so I'm actually going to be starting with increased squad size. So uh, thank you all so much for submitting characters to the character pool. As you can see here are some of them here. Hopefully you can see yours in there. If you can't, please let me know and I'll add them in. It's also not too late to add characters to the character pool. Feel free to send it to me via Discord or leave a description in the comments down below and I'll include them. Otherwise, let's let's dive right in, shall we? Uh, I've also got World War L installed as well for that extra bit of uh, flair, because why the hell not? There's a new potential XCOM expansion coming out soon, so it wouldn't be the worst thing if this campaign ended abruptly. Uh, but we will be playing on Legend. I uh, tested it out, and Legend is something I'm pretty sure I can beat, hopefully. Uh, don't quote me on that though. And for advanced options, I debated turning on Grim Horizon, but I think... I've got enough on my plate right now with uh, the better uh, mods installed, so we'll leave that off. I'm not going to tick any of these actually. I wanted to tick not created equal, but let's keep things sort of predictable before uh, things get out of hand real fast because of my uh, inability to come up with great tactical decisions. So <laughs> remember guys, I am not the greatest at this game. If you are watching this purely to learn something, I highly recommend going somewhere else, but if you're here for a good time, for unpredictability, for story, let's dive right in, shall we? Reduce, reduce beginner VO, show subtitles, yes. I'm not going to enable Iron Man once again because also, uh, not just the fact that we've got mods installed and things could be highly volatile, and my computer uh, reset itself quite recently in fact, uh, but because it's a YouTube series I don't want to have to end a campaign because of a bad or corrupted save, right? So let's go start with that Iron Man. We'll be playing Honest Man, just like with Long War 2. Uh, we'll live with the consequences no matter what. And integrated downloadable content, sure why not. Enable Lost and Abandoned, I haven't actually done that yet, which is amazing. I should probably do that one day. Anyway, we're not going to turn it on for this one. Okay, let's go. Ready? Here we go. continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands like Nobody cares, propaganda ladies, because XCOM is back in town, baby. Whew. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. So I keep telling myself that I'm ready. It's been a while since I've recorded an XCOM 2 campaign. Uh, it's totally different from the test campaigns I do. Because those are more relaxed and less pressured. Here, you guys are all watching. The aliens it. have had long enough to establish their peaceful enclaves within the city centers. It's time we move in and show them the fight isn't over yet. We're deploying to hit a high-profile target. One that they won't be able to cover up so easily. Move to secure the target site and eliminate any hostile contacts in the area. Ah, Dallas. Classic. It's no nowhere else, but it'll do. Already, I can see some interesting characters aboard. The Sky Ranger. There they go. Menace one five. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X four charges at the designated position. All right. Looks like we've got Hector, Spike, Canellus, Drake, Dragon, Norris, Violet, Bloom, Adlesk, Khadija, Eagle, Curry, Floyd, Obama, Johnson, Thing, Tiger, Zhao. All right. Let's, uh, let's begin. Mind you, I don't really like this starting map. Heading out. The way it's laid out really irks me. Because of the high ground and whatnot. But, we're just gonna have to make do, I guess. Let's sneak our way up. Moving quickly. Okay. Combat is my life now. That's nice. Go, go, go! It's nice to have six people at the very beginning on Gate Crasher. Saddle up, Calvary. Um, because... Just tell me where they're headed. 
It makes things a bit less random because we've got more people shooting at things. Sure, it might make things seem a little bit easier, but you'll find out later. <laughs> Once the pot sizes start getting bigger, I think timer starts to become the greatest enemy because we've got to fight so many people and we have limited time to do it. To I'll notice these guys also have a blade of plating, which is also nice, I think. I liked that feature from Long War 2 where, you know, you can suffer some wounds and you won't be out for like a month. You'll actually still be fit to fight. Great. Let's take the high ground. Moving out. Always nice to have the advantage. Moving on target location. Adlisk. You could probably grapple up. Changing position. Look very funky with your pink outfit. Definitely not like the other skirmishes. Position. But that's fine, you know. It's nice to be unique. This way. Kadija, you can stay on the ground. Heading Let's get Obama location. up top. Protect him at any costs. <laughs> the enemy Alright. Looks like we've got the drop on these numbskulls. Except we're too high up. Khadija can see them. Maybe we can bring some people down. On the move. Let's get Obama down. Let's get Spike down. Wicked hairstyle, by the way, Spike. Let's get Dragon down. Violet can also come down. I will go. Let's wait a turn, and then we'll attack. Hopefully they just stay in this area. Because I'd like Atlas to take two shots. That's uh, the primary strength of the skirmishes after all, right? So there's no point like moving her there just to take one shot. Let's make the most of her abilities. Okay. Let's start with... maybe Khadija can start. She seems like she's got the scouter. She should be able to have impeccable aim. I trust you will land the shot. Let's go on the 89%. 2% could make all the difference in the world. Awesome. Good. Do not Almost knocked that guy's, like, knees. But he's running off to hide behind cover. He's still flanked. What a doofus. Awesome. I was planning to, like, grapple him, but... Seems it was unnecessary. Okay, Atlas, you take two shots. Okay, that's not the start I'm looking for. 73, come on, you can do it. Okie dokie. Maybe we need to make sure that your allegiance is with XCOM and not with the advent. Okay. Let's move Obama up. Should give us the height advantage. Awesome. Hard target. Yeah, I couldn't. Oh, I could have moved her up, but then there was no cover, and I don't want to trigger something over there. You know, there's a lot of fog, so let's be careful. Position. Here we go. Finish it off, hopefully. Wonderful. Hostile neutralized. Okay. Overwatch. No company just yet. Time for vengeance. Reloaded. Everybody, reload, please. So we can uh, ensure we're at top, top strength when we Here encounter the next enemies boss. will lie broken and bleeding. Okay. It's a good pep talk from Khadija, I believe your name is. Khadija. I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry for whoever made her. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay, Obama's moved up. It's fine. Leading the way. Moving to designated coordinates. It's always nice. Uh... No, let's not grapple just yet. Let's grapple when we need to. We can always just move. Uh, come up here, Khadija. Overwatch. Zal can come here. Scanning. Hector can come here. Heading out the trap. And let's just get. Yes, and let's come here. I hope you guys' characters are appearing as they should be. If they're not, let me know. It's probably a mod I don't have. Okay, game. You can proceed now. Shh, you hear that? Okay. Had to skip a turn, apparently. Alright. Let's move along. Understood. Moving out. Still nothing. On the move. All is quiet. 
test my resolve if you wish. Ah, there's a trooper there. So he's nearby. Cool. Will probably walk into us, which is always a bonus. Uh, we're running out of cover though. I'm just gonna chuck Hector here. Setting up. Flash them towards us. Hopefully they just wander into our line of sight. Enemies on the move. And we can blast them. Nope. Nothing. Good copy. Moving on target. Okay, let's wait one more turn. Look forward to the enemy shall we? Here we go. Action! Looks like a decent shot. Four damage. Although they bear some resemblance to Looks like he took some more. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever. Oh, he survived the rest. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Wow, that sector took a lot of shots. See, now is a good time to maybe grapple. No, maybe not. Uh, hang on. Let's move across. Let's get rid of this trooper. He's flanked for days. 85%. Awesome. I take no joy from killing you. Let's good let's give Atlas a easier target with the gunslinger, hopefully. Maybe we'll use justice 93%. Here we go. This is the one. She needs some confidence boosting. There we go. Awesome. Good. She's proven her allegiance. She's with us. 100%. 46%. Do I take pot shots at this thing? He's probably not going to fire back. He's probably going to try and revive a zombie or panic one of my soldiers. <sighs> so 46% is nothing too bad, as Ling has just demonstrated. Patrick, you're dead. She's very outspoken. We're going to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, we got some spunk and personalities on this on regiment of troops. I believe there's only one pot to go. Things are going quite swimmingly, to that location. which is nice. I, move. I don't know where the last pod is, but I have a feeling we've outstayed our welcome on this roof. On so move. let's move up slightly. Not so much that we'll reveal something. Let's get to murder with this. I've got a lot of grenades. I haven't used my grenades yet, so that's probably going to make this last fight a lot easier. Let's make sure everyone's topped up. Let my actions speak for me. Oh, we're stuck again. Oh, game. There we go. They're nearby. Let's get rid of that at the bottom. Spike. Looks like he's revealed them. The Heavy officer, officer and a trooper. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Okay, officers down below. Don't think we're gonna get to him that easily. Heavy probably can be flanked. Yep, he can. We'll be in half cover though. Is that acceptable? It's not ideal. Uh, I will move. Let's check Atlas here. Let's put uh, Khadija over here. Get the flank. 65%. It's a long shot. Doesn't land. Okay. Cool. Ling over here. Officers, I believe, carry flashbangs rather than frag grenades, so that's why I'm comfortable grouping these two together. Like, a flashbang's not as bad as a frag grenade. Okay, he's got one health. Sucks. We don't have an easy shot to finish him off, unless you stand here, but that's a flank. Let's get Obama. 
Throw a grenade. This should finish him off. Uh, in a bit of barracks, grenades are split into high explosive grenades, which is what we've got here. And I believe they're... I can't remember what kind of grenades they're called. Needle grenades, I think. Where they... Are they needle grenades? There's some type of grenade, but it does more damage, but doesn't destroy cover. HE grenades are more for destroying cover than doing damage. Scenario untenable. Bugging out. Uh, 36%. Take a shot, why not? Oh, beautiful. Atlas landing the low percentage shots to make up for high percentage misses. Moving on target location. Which is always nice. One enemy left. Good, this looks like a flawless Just mission. Stay right there. Unless things go catastrophically wrong. Here we go. Hector. Blow his cover up. Lethal throne. <laughs> All we see is just this rising smoke. Okay. I'm gonna give Adlis this kill. It's not a bit of favoritism. It's because she's a squaddy already, and I'd like to get a, uh, a sergeant ASAP because that allows me to increase my squad size. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Understood. Obama will plant the explosives. Covering now. Even though he's standing in the fire. Plant it. Let's go. Menace 1 5. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. <laughs> what was that, Central? Squad is clear. Obama was literally standing at the at the explosion site. But we get a flawless anyway. He doesn't he doesn't die to the explosion. I don't know what happened there. Clearly he must have cut the wrong wire or something. In any case. Let's go over the results. Unfortunately, we don't get pictures because it's the first mission. We don't get any headshots, as in mug shots. But uh, we got Ling, Tiger Zhao, sneakiest, most exposed kill stealer. Hector, Spike, Canellis with heavy hitter and most assists. Drake, Dragon Norris, he's the sneakiest. Violet, Bloom, Adlisk, shot accuracy 40%. But she's overqualified, close range. MVP was Khadija. I agree with that. She did very well. Two kills, 14 damage dealt. Some good damage statistics. Most high, heavy hitter, most exposed, not bad kid, overqualified. And Floyd Obama Johnson, wanton destruction, even blew himself up. Even though it was a senseless sacrifice. <laughs> Alright, we got access to the photo booth once again. Let's commemorate this day zero. Dallas, Texas. Well done, team. Flawless. But I doubt that will last very long. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. It's good to know. You know what I miss about War of the Chosen? These loading times are amazing. Back to base. This guy's put up a good effort, but can we make it last? I'm That's the question. Pleased when the troops return without any recorded casualties. I can't hope for a better outcome. Everyone got a kill, which is awesome. Spread the love quite well. Khadija. She is an agent. She definitely looks like one. Agents can be used as stealthy snipers, but are best at assassinating enemies at close range with a shotgun. Their combat knife provides utility and mobility. So I'll explain some of the new classes uh, when we get someone promoted to them. We've got Canellus promoted to infantry using either assault rifles or the cannon. Infantry can suppress enemies with sustained fire. In close quarters they can end the fight quickly with their shotgun sidearms. These guys are more of the uh, they're more like the rangers because they get the sawn off shotgun so we get um, some long war 2 sort of equipment so we get the sawn off shotgun we'll get the arc thrower uh, combat knife which we got on Khadija if you didn't notice. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like that. 
And I like how the classes get to use two different weapons, depending on what you want. Ling is the Grenadier, which is nice. Uh, just your typical Grenadier. I think the perk system is a bit more random as well when you get promoted, which is also cool. It's kind of like training roulette. Doris, Dragon, that Drake. He is a scout. Scouts are a fast class that can get vision on enemies. Aside from using their own sniper or assault rifle, they can support their squad by marking potential targets and exposing their weak points. So they get the hollow targeter. They get a sniper rifle or a assault rifle. Awesome. And Obama is our sharpshooter. Sharpshooters are excellent at hitting their targets, either as a sniper from range or as a close range shotgun surgeon, which is <laughs> pretty cool because they get to use a sniper rifle or a shotgun, depending on how you want to play them. Awesome. No bonds. Atlas, three kills. Still a squaddy. Hopefully a corporal in the next mission. If we can take her. Hair trigger. Troop corpses. Fragments of weapons, which are used for upgrading to mag weapons and plasma weapons down the line. Corpses, of course. A lot of things new. I'll try and explain things as we go. Um, Commander, I might forget something, labs. but if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. Otherwise, let's head up the research labs, then we'll meet the rest of the crew, shall we? Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I get to choose whether I want to use the ABB Psy or Vanilla Psy. I kind of prefer the Vanilla Psy. This is using the Psy lab that we get later on down the track when we research it. Uh, ABB Psy gives people, everyone, pretty much Psy abilities, because you give them the Psy amp and they use it as a sidearm. Uh, I prefer the more traditional approach. So we'll research this it's instant, and it sets the, the setting for the rest of the campaign. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. Uh, because I'm we'll committing to getting a sergeant early, I'll send word when we're building a girl tactic school available. first. The earlier we start, the better. To engineering. Yeah, I'll come to engineering someday. Sectoid, already collecting heads, which is nice. Alright, let's meet these guys. Start with Ling, Tiger, Zhao. A single mother of two, Ling lost both her children early on during the resistance effort. Most of our new recruits have never Damn it! Close Bradford, quarters. every Thank damn you. time! Before the war, we might have had time for training, but now... They're gonna have to pick things up on the fly. Well, I hope you can fly. I'm about to chuck you off the Avenger. <sighs> With nothing left to live for, it's important to keep an eye on Ling out in the field because there's no telling what she might do. Cool. It's always nice to have a uh, loose cannon aboard the ship. Speaking of cannons, she is wielding one. Hector, Spike, Canellus, an overly dramatic ex-cop. Hector is always hamming things up, whatever he does. He's a good guy all around, just a little cuckoo in the head sometimes. Maybe best to pay attention pay him attention once in a while, but anything more than that might further his inflate his unsufferable ego. Lovely. <laughs> Drake Dragon Norris. Not much is known about Drake, apart from the fact that he used to call the UK his home before the aliens blew it to bits. Some say he used to be a programmer, but now he's picked up a gun, and he's more than happy to delete some alien scum and write a new future. Welcome to the team. Violet Bloom Adlisk. Prior to going rogue, Violet was a soldier assigned to protect Red Watch, the Speaker. The longer she was with him, however, she began to become attached to him. She became more and more individualistic, less of a puppet under Advent's control. When she learned about the skirmishes, she made the decision to join them. Leaving a note for the Speaker to inform him of her decision, she ran to their nearest encampment. Benos has sent Violet to join XCOM as a result of our connections to the Speaker. She's surprisingly sweet, if a bit naive. She agreed in order to help the friends of my father figure, in her own words. Well, that's nice. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Khadija, Eagle, Kauri. Uh, speaking of in, um, our skirmisher, I got a lot of hero units submitted, so, you know, don't fret if they don't appear now. I'm sure we'll be able to recruit some more later on down the track. Obviously, we're going to try and keep everyone alive, but, you know, who knows what's going to happen in this campaign. Anyway. A tough woman born as an only child to a soldier mother, Khadija has been fighting with the resistance her whole life. Though she has a lot to live up to in terms of the heroics performed by her late mother, Khadija is determined to forge her own path and legacy. Well, she's she certainly looks like an agent I've already mentioned. Look forward to seeing what else you can contribute to the war effort. She's from the United Arab Emirates. That's pretty cool. Floyd Obama Johnson. 
The squad mates gave Floyd the nickname Obama because of his likeness to the US president who was in office during the initial invasion. Apart from that, he's a reliable, but not a remarkable soldier. Ah, he did well. Welcome. Lewis Slice Carver, former bartender. After getting disbarred for fabricating evidence in a rather insignificant trial, Lewis had barely been getting by, though the stories he heard as he tended bar made him realize life could be worse. Well, it became worse, as the aliens invaded a few years later. And life could get even worse still, because you're under my command, Lewis. Who knows what the hell could happen tomorrow. Abby Chopper McNay, a former helicopter pilot for a tourism company, Abby worked hard to evacuate as many civilians as she could from London during the initial invasion. Her bravery and determination to do the right thing led to her joining the resistance as soon as she learned of its existence. Welcome. Well, wow, nice scar. Jeez, she's seen something. Jason Shield Black. Jason is impatient, cocky, and stern. An unpleasant cocktail of traits, to be sure but he only wants to get the job done quickly and efficiently. He's not good at making friends, but he'll help out anyone who needs it in a pinch. Just expect a harsh lecture about it later. Awesome. He looks like... He looks very rugged. Xenia, voice Soto. An aspiring television presenter, Xenia nearly became a full-time propaganda announcer for Advent. Oh, he kind of looked like the lady, you know. Maybe you're her sister. However, she couldn't be their voice in good conscience. Unfortunately, they wouldn't accept her resignation so easily. She was forced to escape town and join the resistance. Carlos Vintage Fernandez. A hardened veteran of the original invasion, Carlos's age is catching up to him quick. Still, he has no plans for life after the invasion. Going out in the blaze of glory is the preferred retirement plan, but if he manages to stick around long enough to see the aliens gone for good, maybe he'll work something out. He's seen something with his one eye. Peter Bo, Bao, Bo Fournier. Largely unambitious, Peter has a habit of not giving his 100%. That is, until he was thrust into the battlefield after his resistance settlement got bombarded by Advent. Though he's lazy in the barracks, out in the field, Peter has learned to give it his all, for it might be the last time he gets to. Antonia Reyes. Okay, our resistance soldier. Unfortunately, we don't get a bio for her because it's overridden. Let's get you into your appropriate outfit. There we go. Well, you look like you're from the future. Well, we are in the future. What am I saying? Anyway, that's the team for now. Looks qu quite small. I'm pretty sure we'll get some more later on down the track, considering we get larger squad sizes in this playthrough. Commander to engineering. I'm not going to engineering. Anyway, I think we're ready. Let's begin scanning. Commander. Bradford. These findings will likely prove crucial awesome. to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Module with us. Let's go. Work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Grenade and ammo? Straight off the bat. Avenger plotting new course. Wowza. Let's go. Don't fret if your character didn't appear from the initial roster. You know them as they were. We're bound to get some more the later soldiers on. Soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. I think I also got a mod called Recruits bye, bye, Conserve Character Pool. So that means if your character's in the in the recruit section, typically they don't appear as recruits. But um, this mod changes that. So I've got some characters in here. We will destroy all that the elders value. So if these are one of your characters, never fear. They are still eligible to be recruited later on. Okay. Commander That's the housekeeping room. Back to the grenade and ammo scanning. Things are fine. No constant interruptions like in Long War II. This will prove to be an important step forward. Oh, I didn't read that, but um, it just details the changes in weapons and how they behave in the game. I'll explain it when, we, when we're down in the field, so don't worry. Hybrid materials is inspired. Let's go. I will make that our highest priority. Damn straight. I told you to do so. One incendiary grenade. One AP round. Wow, that is strong early on. And we get rookies. Avenger there you go. New More recruits. Told you not to fear. 
Unfortunately, I think we're going to get the second mission before we get these rookies. Yeah, there we go. What do we got? New Mexico. Recover item from Advent Vehicle. Operation Dark Knife. Donna Morgan. Engineer. We don't have a specialist, so this is going to be a little tougher than if we had one. Which means we're going to have to get next to the objective to hack it. We'll see what we can do. In the meantime, as per usual, let me set up the team. Be right back. Alright, Operation Dark Knife. Recover item from an Advent Vehicle. We're taking out Zhao, Canellis, Carver, Atlas, Kauri, and Johnson. We'll do this next time. I'm so excited to do this campaign. <sighs> this is time we're going to win. Okay, I'm feeling it. Feel it now. Good vibes. Send good vibes. Anyway, take care, guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.